Hello students, welcome to Ants classes. Let's do playing with numbers exercise 8C. This is on page number 103 and we are with question 3. Using the division method, find the HCF of the following. So this is how we do. We start by dividing the greater number by the smaller number. So we take 24 and we divide it by 16. Now there's a particular way of doing it. So we put it this way and we have 16 here. Then we do a normal division, but instead of putting the quotient on top, we're going to put it on the right hand side. So 16 ones are 16. So this is like normal division, the first step. Then we uh, do our subtraction. So this is one and 14, 14 minus six is eight. And here it is zero. Now we have a remainder eight. Now we're going to continue our division by using this remainder as our next divisor. So I'm going to continue this division like this. So eight is our divisor this time and 16, which is here now becomes a dividend. So now I'm going to divide 16 by eight. Eight twos are 16 minus zero. So we keep on doing this division till we get the remainder zero. And the last divisor that we have used, which is going to give us the remainder zero is our HCF. Okay, so the HCF of 16 and 24 is 8. So here we have three numbers. So what we can do is take the first two numbers first. So here we're going to take a bigger number, put it in and divide it by the smaller number. Seven twos are 14. So minus Zero. So here we've got 7 as our HCF. HCF of 7 and 14 only. Okay, now we have a third number 24. So we're going to take this 7 and divide it by, we're going to use it to divide 24. So 24 will be inside and 7 will be out now. Okay, so now let's divide 7 1s are 7, 7 2s are 14. We can use 7 3s are 21 minus 4 minus 1 is 3, 0. I continue my division. I put 7 inside. I have to put 7 inside and I continue. 3 twos are 6 minus. I have 1. I, again, I continue my division. I put the 3 inside, this 3 inside and I, my divisor is 1. 1 threes are 3 minus I've got 0. So the last divisor which gave me the remainder zero is my HCF. So here the HCF of three numbers, what are they? Seven, 14 and 24 is one. So the answer is one. Question three, 32, 56 and 46. We have three numbers here. So let's take the first two numbers We'll put 56 inside and we'll take 32 out and let's divide. 32 ones are 32 minus, let's subtract, 6 minus 2 is 4, 5 minus 3 is 2. So I have 24. Now I'm going to continue my division. Let me put 32 inside. 24 ones are 24 minus, now here we need to borrow. So this becomes 2 and this is 12. 12 minus 4 is 8. So I'm going to continue my division. So here I'm going to put 24 inside. So each divisor comes in. So first we put 32. Now I'm going to put 24. So we've put 24 and let's get a number close to that 8. Threes are 24 itself. So now when we subtract, we get 0. And here the final divisor which gave us 0 is 8. So that is the HCF of these two numbers, 32 and 56. Now I'm going to use 8 and 46. So let's do that. Let's put 46 inside and 8 outside. 8 fives are 40. So let's do that. 8 fives are 40 minus. So I bring, uh, when I subtract, I get 6. This is 0. Now I'm going to keep 6 outside as my next divisor and bring 8 inside. So 6 ones are 6 
minus, I've got two, I'm going to continue my division, two is my divisor, this time I take six and put it in, two threes are six, minus, now I've got the remainder zero. So the last divisor that gave me zero as the remainder is the HCF. So the HCF of these three numbers, HCF of 32, 56 and 46 is 2. So that is our answer. Question 4. Using any suitable method, find the HCF of. So we have learned three methods. The first one is the common factor method where you find all the factors. Second is the prime factor method. And the third one is the long division method. You can use any one method to find your answer. Now, generally, when you have a bigger number, especially here you have 135, it's always easier to use the long division method. So let's do, use the division method that we just learned. So we'll divide the first two numbers. So 45 is outside the divisor and inside we have 75. So let's do 45 ones are 45 minus 0, 7 minus 4 is 3. I'm going to continue the division. This time I'm going to put 45 inside and I'll continue. 30 ones are 30 minus 5. 4 minus 3 is 1. So let's continue the division. We need to continue till we get the remainder 0. This time I'm going to put 30 inside. So 15 twos are 30 minus 0. So I've got the remainder 0. So the HCF of these two numbers is 15. Now I'm going to use 15 and 135. So let's do that. So put the bigger number inside 135 and divide it by 15. So we're dividing 135 by 15. Now 15 into 9. Let's see what it is. 9 fives are 45, carry 4. 9 ones are 9 plus 4 is 13. So that's 135. So 15 into 9 is 135 itself. So the remainder is 0. So which is the divisor that gave us the remainder 0? 15. So 15 is the HCF. So the HCF of these three numbers. What are the three numbers? 45, 75 and 135 is 15. Question 2. 66, 33 and 132. Put the bigger number inside and do the division. So there are, there are smaller numbers 33. 33 into 2 is 66. So minus we get 0. So here 33 is the HCF of these two numbers 66 and 33. Now I'm going to use 33 and 132 to find the HCF. So here we put 132 inside and we put 33 out and we divide. Now 33 into 4, let's see what it gives us. 33 into 4. 4 threes are 12, carry 1. 4 threes are 12 plus 1, 13. So 32, 33 into 4 will give us 132 itself. So we've got the remainder 0. So the last divisor that gave us the remainder 0 is the HCF. So this was easy, isn't it? So the HCF of... 66, 33 and 132 is 33. Let's go on to the next one. Here also we have four numbers now and we can use any method. Shall we use the division method itself? So let's divide 36 by 24. 24 ones are 24 minus 6 minus 4 is 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. I continue my division. This time I put 24 inside and 12 twos are 24 minus 0. So the last divisor that gave me the remainder 0 is the HCF. So 12 is the HCF of 24 and 36. Now I'm going to use 12 and 60. So let's try that. 12 is outside. 
and 60 is the dividend that's inside. Now 12 fives are 60. So we've got our answer here itself. So here 12 is the HCF of 12 and 60. So I'm going to use 12 and 132. So 12 is outside and we have 132 inside. Now 12 ones are 12 minus, again I have 12, 12 ones are 12. So that is 12 ones are 12. So minus, we get 0. That means 12 into 11 gave us the remainder 0. So 12 is the last divisor that gave us a remainder 0. So that is the HCF. So the HCF of 24, 36, 60 and 132 is 12. Now question 5. Find the greatest number that divides each of these completely. So the greatest number that divides these numbers completely is the HCF. So we must find the HCF of 180, 225 and 315. So whenever you have big numbers, it's always better to use the division method. So let's divide 225 by 180. So 180 into 1 will give us 180. Let's minus and see what we get. 5. Now here we need to borrow. So this is 1 and this is 12. 12 minus 8 is 4 and this is 0. So remainder is 45. Let's continue our division. This time we put 180 inside. Now 45 into what will give us 180? Let's multiply 45 into 4 and C. 4 fives are 20, carry 2. 4 fours are 16 plus 2 is 18. 180. So we've got it there. So 45 fours are 180 minus 0. So here we've got 45 as the first HCF of 180 and 225. Now let's use that and 315. So I'm going to use these two numbers. So 315, we'll put it inside and we'll have 45 outside. So let's multiply 45 into 7. 7 fives are 35, carry 3. 7 fours are 28, 29, 30, 31. So we've got 315. So 45 into 7 is 315. So the last divisor that gave us the remainder 0 is our HCF. So the HCF of these three numbers or the greatest number, the question is not to find the HCF, the question is find the greatest number that divides each of these completely. So our answer should say the greatest number. So we need to write our answer according to the question. So the greatest number that divides these three numbers 180, 225 and 315 completely is 45. So that is our answer. Next question, we need to show that 45 and 56 are co-prime numbers. Now what are co-prime numbers? Co-prime numbers are two numbers that don't have a common prime factor. Okay, and the HCF of two co-prime numbers is always one. So what we have to do is we have to find the prime factors of each of these, of 45 and the prime factors of 56. And then we have to prove that they don't have any common prime factor. So let's find out the prime factors of 45 by using the prime factor method. So here we'll use 5, 5 9s are 45. Now we'll use 3, 3 3s are 9, 3 1s are 3. So here, what are the prime factors of 45? 3 into 3 into 5. Let's find the prime factors of 56. We can start with 2. 2, 2s are 4, but this is 5, so there's 1 remaining. So it's 16, 2, 8s are 16. 
Now 2 1s are 2, 2 4s are 8, that means 2 into 14 is 28. 2 7s are 14, now I use 7, 7 1s are 7. So let's write all the prime factors of 56. 2 into 2 into 2 into 7. Now what are the common prime factors here? Common prime factors here, if you look and see, there is nothing that is common. There is no common prime factor, so no common prime factor. So in such a case, like the sentence, HC of two core prime numbers is always one. So when there is no common prime factor, the HCF will always be 1. So we have proved here that 45 and 56 are co-prime numbers. We'll stop with that for now, children. In our next video, we will continue with the remaining questions. Thank you, children.